Hey everybody, John Granado here. I'm on mornings on ESPN 97.5 and 92.5. Hope you listen in. That's Josh Jordan. He edits sportsmap.com and he also hosts Moneyline. Uh, and, and you can hear that weekends on ESPN 97.5 and 92.5. Hit subscribe if you haven't yet so you get all of our content here at SportsMap HOU. Hey, Josh, uh, John McClain was on the Texans radio flagship this week and he said that if Ty- Tyrod Taylor got hurt, which, you know, happens, uh, he, in his opinion, they would not play Davis Mills. Instead, they would go to Jeff Driscoll on the practice squad. Ooh, that doesn't sound like a very good. That doesn't sound like a plan at all to me. Because what are you going to learn with Jeff Driscoll out there as opposed to Davis Mills? I, I don't, I don't, I don't see why that would ever happen. I think what John said was if it happened in the first, like very early in the season, like the first, like game two or game three, something like that. Where remember Tyrod Taylor, you know, after the first game, he got replaced last year. And then two years before that, he was in Cleveland. And after three games, he got hurt and Baker Mayfield took over and never looked back. So I think it's if it's just early in the season, McLean thinks that they may turn to somebody else, which. Thinking about Davis Mills having, if he had to play in Cleveland on the road against that defense in week two, like that would be kind of scary. I don't know if he's ready for that. He, he's a project. We know that. You know, he only had 11 starts in college. They don't want to, you know, expose him to stuff he's not ready for. So I get it in that aspect. But for me, the question becomes like, then, you know, at what point, when can you play him? And as a fan, John, I can't watch Jeff Driscoll out there. Like, man, I, I can't do it. It's never going to, you know, Listen, there's no there is no world that we live in where Jeff Driscoll is the is a better option. I'm just I'm sorry. And and Jeff Driscoll's a fine person, I'm sure. But I, I just I don't that is not going to help this organization going forward. Listen, you throw him to the wolves. Is he gonna be more ready in week eleven because it's after the bo- after the off week? Yeah, probably he'll be better. But but you know what? The the second half schedule is tougher. The second half schedule is going to be murderous, and I don't know that there's going to be he's going to be that much better. He's had an off season here. He's had a preseason here. He knows the offense. We saw him against the Cowboys. We saw him against. We saw him in that last game against Tampa, throwing three picks. But guess what? He's going to do as a rookie. I don't care if it's in week eleven or week three. He's going to throw picks. He's going to make mistakes. But we got to see whether or not he can play. Jeff Driscoll doesn't mean anything. Doesn't mean – will not be in this organization going forward for any reason. So I don't know what that purpose that could possibly serve. I mean, I guess maybe if you think it's like a, you know, a David Carr situation where you don't want to see a guy get ruined when he's not surrounded by enough talent or he's not ready to play, you know, maybe that's the way they're thinking. But, I mean, what else are they going to do? I mean, they already have to carry three quarterbacks on the roster because of Deshaun. What are they, you know, and some of these guys like Cam's not going to go on your practice squad. So I, I think they're just playing it by ear. And if, if Tyrod gets hurt, then they'll figure it out at that point. Yeah. Listen, Cam, if I was him, I would not get join a team and be a backup. I would wait for somebody to get hurt. And if that did happen to Tyrod Taylor and they don't want – Davis Mills in there early on, then I, that would be to me a much better option than Jeff Driscoll. Now, what you have to pay Cam, and you got to tell Cam, listen, at the end of the se- after the after the off week, you're not going to be playing anymore. So because we do have to see what we have in Davis Mills, there is no question in my mind. You have got to after the off week. You have got to play Davis Mills, and I don't know. Okay, so he's not surrounded by any talent in week three. How is that no talent going to change in week 11? It's not. Maybe he's going to be more ready because he's been on the team longer. But you know what? The, 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 the talent ain't changing. And you know, I, I don't know that that would be something that Cam would want. Phillip Rivers is a coach already. Colin Kaepernick <laughs> hasn't played in like 19 years. So, I mean, I don't know that there is an option out there. God forbid anything happens to Terod Taylor early on in this season, although it has happened before. God forbid it does because I, I don't know that there is an option at quarterback uh, if, if he should get hurt. We want him healthy. Back to Cam just real quickly, John. Why would he want to come here? That's the problem. You know, like, like you said, it, they're going to want to get a look at Mills. 
he's a guy that he's going to want to play. And are they going to want him around Tyrod if Tyrod's not hurt already? You know, that would be kind of weird. It seems like they want Tyrod to be the guy. They feel good about him. And then you're already carrying Deshaun Watson on the roster. But clearly they don't care about that. They're carrying five running backs right now. So (laughs) just putting that out there. For whatever reason. Yes. For whatever reason, they're carrying five running backs. We'll see. That's the Texans' way. You know what? We'll probably see Jeff Driscoll because it's the Texans' way. Get your popcorn ready. 